everybody in here, sitting here in the tiny house, having my coffee with all of you. Uh, the fire hasn't been started yet this morning, but I got the buddy heater going, and it's nice and toasty in here. Outside, it's five degrees, and with the wind, it's like minus four or five or something like that. So, well, last night I made um, a big thing of lasagna. Well, actually, just like a, a loaf pan size thing of lasagna, and I'm reheating it now. Can you see it? <laughs> it's delicious. Um, I made so much of it that I actually went out and uh, shared some of it with the chickens. The chickens all made it through last night just fine. Um, I'm going to get ready to take this hoodie off in a second here. They made it through. Uh, two eggs, one brown, one white. Uh, I collected just now and it's like 7.30. I mean 7.20, something like that. Their water did freeze, but I, I've replaced it. It's just something I'm going to have to do like three times a day. But the good thing is, is it was not frozen solid. So that van is staying pretty warm. Chickens didn't even remotely want to leave the van today. They didn't even come out, like rush out like they normally do. They just stayed in the back of the van. So I gave them some more feed. They've got plenty of feed in there. They've got plenty of water. I'll go out about noon and check again for more eggs and uh, dusted off the solar panels again. And boy, am I glad that I did that last night because all I basically had to do was just brush it off with the brush. If I had not done that, there would have been that layer of ice that had been frozen even more solid by this morning. So there was about another inch of snow on them. Just dusted it off. And it's a sunny day today. So I'm going to get plenty of solar. And um, I've got the two front windows open where the sun comes in. Uh, not open, but uncovered. The curtains are pulled aside. So get some sunshine in here. Other than that, I, I just really don't know how much I'm going to be doing today because it's just going to be a repeat of the of uh, yesterday. It's cold. Uh, not necessarily. I mean, it, it's not freezing inside this tiny house. It's warm in here. I mean, I just came in from upside, outside, so I've got this on, and I'll take it off in a little bit. But, boy, this is good sleeping weather. <sighs> I haven't even woken up yet. Hadn't, haven't even had a full cup of coffee. Um, but anyhow, so another storm is supposed to roll in Thursday and Thursday is when Papa is supposed to go get his heartworm treatment started. I'm supposed to take him early Thursday morning, pick him up Friday. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen this week. I'm going to call the vet today. Uh, the roads aren't even touched. Nobody is even driving on the roads back here right now. Um, it's just really unsafe. Because there's a layer of ice, then a layer of snow, and then more ice. Uh, and there's no way that I could safely navigate to the to the vet's office. So, whew, well, I'm just going to sit here, eat my yummy lasagna, and just see how this day transpires. I don't know if there's going to be anything else interesting really going on, but we'll see. I'll let you know what the vet says. I just got off the phone with a vet and they're closed due to the weather and we're supposed to get another round of ice and snow tomorrow and Thursday. Papa's appointment is Thursday so they'll likely be closed on Thursday too. I don't see how I'd be able to make it there anyhow unless I had a four-wheel drive. So yeah there's Papa. <laughs> oh God love him. Um, so I'll keep calling the vet you know tomorrow and the next day but likely it's going to be put off a week maybe till next Thursday. So we'll see about that. I just want to get this going. I want it to get started. I want it to get over with. I've just been really anxious about it because trying to keep him calm and whatnot. At least Judy is uh, with Donna and her daughter, Christina. So that's good. But one thing I've noticed too, I've been trying to get him used to going out on the lead because I don't want him, you know, running around, of course, when he starts his treatment. And he will not go potty when he is on that lead. He will just sit there. I let him out today on the lead, and he just went and sat in the snow. And um, so I, I let him off the lead, and sure enough, he shot right over to Mr. Lucas' property. He just, <laughs> he goes there and goes behind in the woods and whatnot. And sometimes he goes out back in the woods, out back. Um, he always comes back, but all that running, it's going to have to come to an end. So I'll have to figure that out. But, uh, well, I got to go build a fire. Yep, I'm going to go build a fire right now. Well, Coco finally ventured out. <laughs> they don't really like the snow at all. 
So I'm at least going to try and brush off their roost out here because one of the leghorns flew from the van all the way over to here. And they are out underneath there. I don't want to let them free range. Uh, most of them are still in the van. I got five eggs today total. Um, whew, it's just cold. But you know what? I just didn't have the heart to not let them out. Um, so we'll just let them stay out for a little while and see how that goes. Thank goodness the solar panels are all washed off. Um, basically the batteries have charged because of all the sun. So that is at least, you know, silver lining to all of this snow and ice. Mr. Lucas gave me a few pieces of cedar. He wanted to give me more, but I said, nah, that's enough. He's got to keep his wood for his family. This stuff is so dry. It's got a little snow on it, but um, it burns so good and it smells so good. I'm going to go out to my truck and see if I can get it to start. Look at that. What do you think, guys? Place your bets. All right, let's give it a shot. Let's see if it starts. I'm going to laugh if it starts right up. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoa! Well, it's almost got three quarters of a tank of gas, so I'm just going to let it run for a little while, warm up, and just keep starting it every day just to make sure that when it really needs to start, that I can start it. Let's see if I can coach, coax these chickens out of the van. I got one out already. I made them a little trail to go up to their roost. Let's see if I can get them to come out. Alright, we got one that's figured it out. Let's see if the others. Yep, they're coming out now. Most of them didn't want to stand in the snow. I went over to Mr. Lucas just now and all his chickens are out walking in the snow. They don't even care. Mine are like big babies. Alright, let me throw some more of this out and throw some in the run just so that they can get a little exercise out here. Look at Roxy. She's got one leg up. She's like, I don't think so. I really don't think so. Come on, Roxy. Here, let me get over here. It's okay. Come on. That's a good girl, Roxy. It's okay. You can get on my little trail. There you go. We got them all out now. All right, good. Boy, these leghorns get so dirty. Mr. Lucas leghorn is really dirty too, just because of the mud and whatnot. <laughs> oh, good. I'll just get a little bit of exercise, guys. This isn't gonna last long, but I figured at least you can get it. Look, look, I put some down on here too. <laughs> I'm a good chicken mommy, that's right. I put some sunflower seeds out for them too just to give them something to kind of hunt around for. And they love them. They're going back and forth now. Getting a little exercise so they aren't so bored. You know, it is really weird, you guys. It is like 10 degrees out here right now, but the sun is out and it feels so wonderful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the neighbor kids, they've got a four wheeler. And earlier this morning, they were just, he was just pulling, one person that was riding was pulling two boys holding onto a rope on their bellies and, you know, they had, you know, gear on and whatnot, but no sled, just pulling them down the road. Now they're on a sled and they're just having the time of their lives. Pretty awesome. I'm not going to film them because they're children, um, but it just brings back memories from California when we would do these kind of things too. In Ohio, you know, you kind of get bored of the snow because it happens so often, but places like here, California, not so much. Oh, they're having the time of their life. I'll tell you what, you guys, this may seem crazy, but I want to be outside so bad. And there's not, there's just a very slight breeze, but the sun is coming down on me, so I feel the warmth. I don't feel cold. I just got to be outside. I'm going to watch these chickens. I'm going to keep throwing feet out there just to kind of entertain them a little bit. Oh, I'm going to give them some grit too. Um, and just spend the next, I don't know, until it's just too cold that I have to go back inside. And, uh, oh, here, Papa's out here too. Say hello, Papa. Say hello. You're such a good boy. So until which time it gets too, too cold to be out here, the sun goes down. And I can't stand it anymore. I'm sitting out here in the freezing cold, but it's in the sunshine. 
watching my chickens. That's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. <laughs>